So we chilling, we relaxing, I'm feeling good. I just had a long work day. But I figured it was time to make another video for the people. And I had the perfect footage. We had to do a lock extension repair on top of a color repair, on top of getting this baby's mind right so that she not out here looking like a California river cricket with a skunk tail going down the middle of her head. I wanted to get her right, I wanted to fix it, I wanted to get it right today, right now. Amen? So what we did, we put some locking stitches on her hair, plus we did an uncolor for color elimination. She did a bunch of different colors and I wanted to get all of that stuff out so when I put the lock stitches in, that she wasn't looking crazy. So, here you go, from root to finish, from zero to 1,000, we fixing my girl's hair. Watch. What you see me first doing is I'm using what is called color eliminator, which is going to go in and take out all of those colors, like I said previously, take those colors out. I don't want those colors to bleed out or poke them, poke their ugly faces out and start turning greens and oranges and all the different hues that are in colors at this point after I put these lock extensions and different things in. So the first thing I'm doing, I'm using my rust eliminator to get that excess color out so she can stop looking like she dipped her head in a bowl of mud and woke up like this. We wanted to fix that thing. We had to fix that thing now, especially in the situation that we had going on. So for all you guys that shave your sides off, think about what's going to happen in the future. That's what she did. She wanted a different look, so she shaved her sides. She was trying different stuff, but then she wanted all of her locks back so that she can have styles and do different things. That's fine. You can do whatever you want to do. But think about the repercussions of what's going to happen next. So now when she wants her full head back, now she's going to have a whole full side that's extensions on top of just her regular hair. And these two hairs are going to do two different things. So be mindful of all of that before you shave your side. And talk to your stylist to make sure your stylist is going to get you right. Because if your stylist don't know parts like ratio, you're going to have a whole lock that look like a thigh on this side. And some ankles that look like they got cancer on this side. That ain't what you want. That is not the recipe to Christ. I just want you to know. So if that's what you're going to do, you're going to cut that hair off. Think about that first. Get them parts and all that's going to look real cute. It's going to look real edgy. Your boss and your co-workers and your boyfriend, your girlfriend, they're going to love it. It's going to look real cute. But when you start growing that out and you look like on your mama's pubic hair, you're not going to be satisfied. You're not going to be happy. That is a transition that if you're not working with that in the first two years of your locks, you may not be happy. This may be you. So be careful in making those decisions. Now let me tell you a little bit about this funky stuff called Color Eliminator. This stuff smells like raw eggs and butt mixed up together and left in a bowl for about six years. But it works. So now that I have this on her head, I'm going to put a plastic cap on I'm going to put her under the dryer because I need it to process. The heat is going to help this product go in and do its job for me. Now, sometimes it looks like when you first put it on, it's going to come off and everything is fine. But you have to go rinse that hair and see if the colors are going to come back through with cool water. Because that coolness will bring the colors to the surface. I learned that trick one day by just messing up. So, that just shows everybody screws up in the system. But sometimes those mess ups will teach you what you need to know. So, I'm going to put it under the dryer at this point. Let the heat do its job. She's going to come from under the dryer probably about... 30 minutes to do our first test to see where she is, what's going on, how it's going to happen. Then after that, if I need to uh, re-administrate that process, I'm going to do it again. Because this is not like a bleach. This is a remover. Now, it can lift just a tad bit, but it's not going to do the same thing a bleach is going to do. Okay? So don't put this on your hair thinking that you're about to come out looking like flawless odds because you're not. Mm-mm. You're going to like, what, what's that man's name? That big man that was in the jungle? Harry and the Hendersons, that's you. Right there, boo. Shampooing this is very important. You gotta get all of that product out or that chemical will consistently continue to work the entire time it's in her hair. That can cause breakage, that can cause issues, that can cause everything. So the first thing we do once we put it in a bowl, we put a color stopping, I'm sorry, an action stopping shampoo on it, the Milk and Honey by Design Essentials to neutralize that, that chemical, make sure that it stops working, that it's done its job, and then I'm gonna do go on with my proper cleansing process, the O-Protein and Henna, followed by the moisture retention. And then especially, especially in this case, we gotta use some conditioner. We got to. At the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you a quick story about some conditioner. But we have to do that right now, or you're going to lose. 
especially removing all of this that we've been putting into her hair and everything that we've been doing thus far plus what she's been doing on her own so we shampooed it like I said it, once we rinsed it out with the cool water I, I did a basic analysis to see if more color was going to come out if anything was going to happen and at that point it didn't we were smooth sailing to move on to the next step and the next step was doing a retwist and then we're going to put on the extensions Why? I'm going to show you this transformation is going to make her feel very good about herself. One quick step I forgot to mention. So once we were pulling out of that color, the ends of her hair went green. And I needed to get that green out because I did not want that green cast on top of especially freshly new blonde lock extension. That fresh hair was going to make that green stand out in ways that was going to make me very uncomfortable as a stylist. That is not what I came here for. And that's not what she came for either. So what I did was I took a red, a soft red. And I neutralized that the green to get it out. Basically toned it just to remove it. You don't have to let it sit on long. You let it sit on for maybe three seconds, three to ten seconds. You will see it snap out of there so fast because if not, that red toner, then it's going to take it to the hair. So you actually have to move very fast when you do it or you're going to have some issues. But that red toner took that green out. And for those of you that don't know the color chart, this is the time for you to learn primaries to secondaries and all of the above that comes along with it. If you fail chemistry class, get out, get your, get your ass out. Because you're not going to understand. And you're going to mess up somebody has some more, and you're going to burn it up and all of the above. But this is where it takes time for you to take a class, get some education, and understand exactly what you're doing. Or you are going to burn that client, and that client is not going to be satisfied with you. So take some time, get educated, get right, you'll win. Here we go, here we go on our way to the stove. So now we're putting the extensions on. And you know I'm big, I'm a big, big, big stickler for that part to like ratio mess. Making sure that when I put my extensions on, they match exactly what that lock is doing. Or I can, you know, set my parts aside to make sure that in the future, my locks are going to match that extension that I've been putting on there. Being that she already had an extension, being that she was already, I mean, being that she already had started locks in certain areas, she was extending some in certain areas, that was easy. That was, you know, icing on the cake. So what I did was I just went in and matched it, made sure that blonde matched her blonde, and I started wrapping it to make sure that she had the same length all the way across the board, and that she was happy with what she was doing. If, if you don't know how to do a lock extension, please don't do this. Please don't, because I keep going through Instagram and I keep getting these clients that keep coming in with these extensions or these extended ideas, and I'm like, what happened? Oh, she did this and she put some super glue and she put some pliers in it just to make it hold. I don't have to do any of that. Working with hair, you could just braid that hair down and connect it together with a braid. That's a connection. I don't have to do all this extra formulating because in the end, it's not going to hold. So be careful with that stuff, especially in repair phases. This is a very extensive repair. She does not want to go home and her hair fall out. So I had to make sure that I put this on correctly. This took me some time to actually do. I wasn't bothered about it, but I had to fix it and I had to do it right. So if you're going to do this, please make sure that you are properly educated to do it right. And don't have these folks out here looking like a scalp Mexican. It's not cute. <laughs> Sick of all these eggs out here. It was a whole bunch of fat girls sitting at one table. I died. Oh. And you know I'm goofy. So it took forever for me to stop laughing. Oh my god. And I already had like three drinks. Oh, it was so good. So then we was going on live. I know you was all down in your oh, chair. I, I was running away and shit. My stomach was hurting. I was crying. So, so then I guess it started going viral on the internet right quick. So people started posting pictures of people that look like eggs. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> oh, it was so good. It was this one lady. She topped the chart. She topped the chart. What? She topped the charts uh, on hers because her titties was like way down here. Oh, it was the best. And it was like pointed in the middle. You <laughs> know, these black shoes. And you couldn't tell mama nothing. She was standing there like. <laughs> they was tearing her ass up, too. It was so funny. I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't laugh at somebody. Oh, my gosh. 
it was good. It was good. It was good. So that was the topic of the whole day. Eggs. Oh. Eggs. And everybody had on those little outfits the way you can kind of see what, like they shape the shit because it's like flipping like a little sheet or something. Yeah, I know what you're mm -hmm. talking about. Oh. That's what's in now. Oh, it was good. I crossed my legs and just died the whole day. I died. Terry was like, see, this is why I'm in the gym at 5 o'clock every morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Wait, I got a question. The uncolored took her all the way to this blonde all over? She was already blonde. Right? I know, but it was like darker up here. She mm -hmm. had colored it darker? Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's the middle then. Somewhere it was darker. Okay, it's just the middle then. That's darker. Mm -hmm. I was like, wait a minute, it was darker. Huh. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. Only egg that I had yesterday, well, I didn't have no egg. I was at home, but my cousin sent it to me. My cousin's son is like, he's like, um, maybe six. Mm -hmm. His dad was sitting down playing video games, and he walked up behind him. He told his mama, his aunties, everybody, record me. He went in the refrigerator and got an egg, jumped Bam. up on the couch, and just bam, smashed it on the dead oh. head. <laughs> I would've whooped Lil Ray Ray's ass. What do you mean you finna go in there and get my good groceries and put it in my face? Pay a bill. Give me some money. You gonna put that, that was breakfast for tomorrow, so now your ass going to school. You gonna starve. You ain't eating nothing but some air pudding. Put an egg on my damn face again. You think you're grown? You gonna tell everybody to record me? You gonna make a fool out of me and I'm your daddy? All right, I got something for you. I'm gonna your ass go to sleep tonight. I'm going to get a boiling hot bowl of grits and I'm going to let it cool down. And I'm going to let it get to where it's like real hard in the bottom of the skillet. Y'all know how it go. And I'm going to hit your ass in the, in the face with that rubber piece of grits. Oh, yeah. Sit your ass down. Put some grits on somebody's head. Oh, I'm do it again, little Ray Ray. Do it one more time. Y'all always doing shit for the vibe. So, now we've, we've done the whole retwist. We've added the extensions. We've done everything that we needed to do. And you see that all I do is just cut the ends off. I don't put any product on there. I don't do anything. Don't do that. You just gonna yawn. She just gonna yawn. And I'm gonna keep going. It's fine. But like I said, I don't put no product on there. I don't put no glue. I don't put no nothing. So selfish and I've been at work all day. But I don't put no glue on her hair or nothing. Just good old wrapping with a braid and everything. That's all. That's all. Now I'm gonna hurry up and end this clip before she yawn again and I get tired one more time. I just wanted to show y'all the end of the lock extension. So, today, we have talked about uncoloring or color eliminating. Making sure that you take those colors out before you do anything else, getting you back to where you started, just your blonde foundation. We also talked about people that want to shave that side off and how you, the things you would have to do in the future just to try to revive that section or get it to meet the hair that you already have as well as healthy parts of lock ratio when putting those extensions on because the pressure at that time is making sure that the locks look just like the locks that that person grew out. So you have to make sure that you do the extensions right, you do the color processing right, and all of the above, or that client is not gonna be satisfied because they're gonna have two different sets of locks and just two different sets of colors, all of the above, and no one's gonna be satisfied. So today's video was very educational for those that are out there and just in bad places that think that you can't get fixed, you can. You can, you can, you can. There are products out here to do so much. I don't use everything, but I know that I use the right stuff just to keep us healthy and keep us right. So, with that being said, I hope that a lot of you guys that are in this predicament, you feel safe, you feel like now you have options because you can and you do. So, watch for the next video. I'm sure we're going to be doing more. Zero to one thousand. Peace.